In this Essential Photoshop Elements quick tip, we're going to see how to take two different photos and combine them into one by clicking and dragging. Hi, I'm Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. Let's go over to Elements and get started. I'm using Photoshop Elements 11 for this video, but it works similar with other versions of Elements as well. For this technique, first open the two photos that you want to combine in Photoshop Elements. Next, look down in the lower left corner of your window and make sure that the photo bin is visible. The photo bin is where you can see what photos are open inside of Photoshop Elements. In Photoshop Elements 11, the photo bin and the tool options share that same space down there. I have the photo bin visible, but if you have the tool options visible instead, and I'll click on that to show you what that would look like. If you look down there and you see something like this rather than your photo bin, click on this icon for the photo bin, and then the photo bin will become visible. And now all you have to do is place your cursor over the photo that you want to bring into it and click and drag. And once you get it over the live work area, let go of the mouse button. Now down in the photo bin it looks like I have two of the same photo open. Notice that the thumbnail on the left has a little brush icon in the corner. That indicates that that photo has been altered in some way. How has it been altered? Well, we added another photo to it. And look over in the layers panel and you can see that the other photo came in as a new layer over the background layer. Since both photos are exactly the same size, the layer of the photo we brought in is completely covering up the background layer. Now I want to make the added photo smaller, and I can do that by going up to the image menu and choosing transform, free transform. That adds a bounding box around the entire layer with eight handles, which we can use to resize our layer. I'm going to place my cursor over the top right handle. I can click and drag diagonally, and as I do, my layer is resized. The other thing you can do at this point is place your cursor inside of the bounding box. It changes into this black arrowhead icon, and that indicates that you can now click and drag and move that layer anywhere you want. And once you get it where you want, you just let go of the mouse button. I'm going to put mine back down into the corner here. And if you somehow mess up, maybe you accidentally distort the photo, you can always click on the red no symbol to undo the transformation. You can go up to the image menu and choose free transform again to get your bounding box back and then redo your transformation. So once you get it how you want it, click on the green check mark to accept your changes. And that's all there is to combining two photos by clicking and dragging in Photoshop Elements. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.